Ellen G. White stated in her book Education, True education means more than the pursuit of a certain course of study. It means more than a preparation for the life that now is. It has to do with the whole being and with the whole period of existence possible to man. It is the harmonious development of the physical, the mental, and the spiritual powers. Today, we are going to witness God's faithfulness to these young souls who made it despite the arduous, formidable, toilsome, and strenuous steps and the fruit of His tenacious guidance in educating these students for the life on earth and for the life thereafter. Welcome to the graduation ceremony of the class 2020-2021. For we acknowledge and celebrate students' achievements in school life over the last six years, and importantly, during their senior years. Guests, friends, ladies and gentlemen, with pride and honor, let us all welcome the completers, the completing officers, the graduates under the general academic strand, the graduates and their humes, the graduating class officers, the faculty and staff of school year 2020-2021. Ladies and gentlemen, the completers for school year 2020-2021. Mr. Amboni Kurt Stanley with the motto, Humanity Security Comes First. But I Kurt Bernal with the motto with God I can. Balide Vincent Kyle with the motto with God I can. Baturi Lester S with the motto put God first before others. Biscada Mark Alfred with the motto, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Bumatai Ryan with the motto, every success starts with self and discipline. Kanipas Vernon with the motto, with God I can. Kutura Lindry Austin with the motto, Never stop chasing your dream. Del Rosario Ryuban with the motto, Do the best you can until you know better, then when you know better, do better. Dupagan Winkent with the motto, Treat every man and every woman as a human, Neither is superior nor better nor more intelligent nor more hardworking. There will be peace and integrity only when we make way for gender equality. Famon Carl Patrick with the motto, Study should come first. Galia Manuel Bow with the motto, Failure is an additional step toward success. Joaquin Randall Jones with the motto, Nothing we do changes the past. Everything we do changes the future. Labiam Giovanni with the motto, I can do it. Pasqua Freddy with the motto, Education is the most powerful weapon that you can use to change the world. Sabado Norwin with the motto, I can do it with Christ. Sugano Stephen Dave with the motto, Try and try until you succeed. Tandagan Jim with the motto, The most important thing is to inspire people so that they can be great in whatever they want to do. Tangaag Landerzam with the motto, Peace 
security in a community is my priority. Tobias Joshua Kirby with the motto, I can do it with Christ. Augusto Joy Babigol with the motto, High education may not lead to success when you desire to motivate high and lead your faith to step closer to victory. Almazan Carol Jane with the motto, Education is the key to a brighter future. Jasmine Apeso with the motto, When you're stuck, don't give up, go for it. Balide Femia with the motto, I can do it with Christ. Banyas Alpha May with the motto, Moving forward is not a great project that you need someone to make, but moving on is a way between you and yourself, because to be able to forget your past, you need to accept it. Bawing and Giselle with the motto, If others can, why can't I? Busile Rosemary with the motto, Strive for progress, not for perfection. Campilas Irish Catherine with the motto, I can do it with Christ. Candelaria Jaira with the motto, Take the risk or lose the chance. Carino Junior Marty with the motto, Be the best version of you. Castro Hyrie with the motto, I can do it with Christ. Katibong Anisal with the motto, With God I can. Kayusa Bridget with the motto, Don't let negative things let you down. Use them as a motivation to achieve your passion. Culiado Crazy K okay with the motto to touch is to touch lives forever. Cortez Janelle with the motto with God I can. Dumaya Esther Melody Be the best of who you are. Dumepnas Feya with the motto in order to achieve success, you must study harder and don't give up easily. Dungalan Alfea Kriza with the motto, If today isn't the due date, today isn't the due date. Gaiban Horiet with the motto, Whatever happens, happens. If you want to live, think. Galot Jamery with the motto, Winning means you are willing to go longer, work harder, and give more than anyone else. Gossil John Crystal with the motto, Do the right thing even when no one is looking. Gregorio Carme Joy with the motto, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and He will bless you with success in life. Hulaton Jolina Kathleen with the motto, In the crevice travail, look from the sunrise to the sunset, smile and move on. Idai Mika with the motto, Do the best you can until you know better, then when you know better, do better. Jimenez Ifriel with the motto, If you can't keep up, don't stop up. Joaquin Dimple Jane with the motto, Education is the road from darkness to light. Joaquin Jemima with the motto, With God I can. Joaquin Mary Bless with the motto, Never give up. La Chica Nicole Angela with the motto, Be bold, be courageous, be your best. Latik Jainaline with the motto, The past is my heritage, the present my responsibility, the future my challenge.
Maramba Ethel Rose with the motto, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Nabalo Dasarime with the motto, With God, I can. Paloyan Ruthlin Joyce with the motto, Education is the key to unlock the golden door of freedom. Pasqua Feli with the motto, Strive for progress, not for perfection. King A. Maridel with the motto, With God, I can. King A. Estricate with the motto, Reach high, for a star lies hidden in your soul. Dream deep, for every deep precedes the goal. Song A. Genesis with the motto, With God, I can. Talita Hadassa with the motto, A journey to a thousand miles begin with a single step. Tibalba Casey Clare with the motto, We may encounter many defeats, but we must not be defeated. T1 Jambi Joyce with the motto, Treat your patients as your family. Tompo Shaka with the motto, With God, I can. Uya Jaya with the motto, It's okay not to be okay, as long as you don't stay the way. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, let us all witness the processional of the graduating class of school year 2020-2021. Japheth Aga with the motto, We may encounter many defeats, but we must not be defeated. Augusto Joseph Dale with the motto, Love all, trust the few, do wrong to none. Balwa Maynard with the motto, Do not do unto others the things that you don't want others do unto you. Banyo Norton with the motto, With God, I can. Baturi Nalbrain with the motto, Every day is a second chance. Candelaria Gesture with the motto, Sometimes being understanding is more important than being right. Sometimes we need not a brilliant mind that speaks but patient art that listens. The Piawan Calvin with the motto, Kindness is free, share it daily. Jaka Nedrito with the motto, Every success starts with self. Eleno Jarek with the motto, Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Enormous Eric Jr. with the motto, to flow like the rivers, to shine like the stars, to thrive like the trees. Fernandez Mark Alvin with the motto, magic is believing in yourself. If you can do that, you can make anything happen. Gadiga Johnny with the motto, with God, I can. Gallo Giancarlo with the motto, if you believe in yourself that you did the right thing today, you don't need to worry about tomorrow. Gatud Lex Oliver with the motto, Less talk, less mistake. Gorgonio John Lloyd with the motto, Hard work is the easiest bridge to cross over success. Guliman Ian Jefferson with the motto, With God, I can. Joaquin Cyril with the motto, Try not to become a person of success, but rather try to become a person of value. Pasqua Junli with the motto, With God, I can do it. Petinas Mike Leo with the motto, Trust his heart. 
Reynanta Brandon Philip with the motto, The best way to predict the future is to create it. Sawad Salvi with the motto, Don't tell me the sky is the limit when there are footsteps in the moon. Tome Tristan Jones with the motto, It's better to be the worst among the best than to be the best among the worst. Villanueva Reino with the motto, Inhale the future, exhale the past. Weigan Don Don with the motto, With God, I can surely do it. Willem Kenny with the motto, I can do it with Christ. Bud Aini Rea with the motto, Failure never hinders me to achieve success. With God, I can do it. Baluking Mariah Jones with the motto, I can do it with Christ. Balsaki Beryl John Alexis with the motto, The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Kabalin Grisel with the motto, I can do it with Christ. Celio Gurley with the motto, The best preparation for tomorrow is doing our best today. Dakiwas Jaribles with the motto, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Dumaya Darinho with the motto, Rule number one, don't forget God when you get what you've prayed for. Stata Javime with the motto, Poverty is not the hindrance to success. I have my God. Gadawan Divine with the motto, try a little bit harder to be a little better and then you succeed. Galangay Jessica with the motto, yes, I can do it with Christ. Galia Janame with the motto, don't let your dreams be just dreams. Galo Desire with the motto, I am God's, and in Him I trust. Gatong o Joybeth with the motto, Never let a bad situation make the worst in you, and choose to be strong, God will guide you. Ingan Lovejoy with the motto, If God brings you to it, He will bring you through it. Joaquin May with the motto, Start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. Kituyan Jessere with the motto, Little girls with dreams become women with vision. Langag Angel K with the motto, The past is my heritage, the present my responsibilities, the future my challenge. Lidumang Grazel with the motto, If it comes, let it. If it goes, let it. Magensai Revengeance with the motto, Hardworking plus positive thinking is equal to success, but trusting and praising his name is the best thing. Masada Jessica Lee with the motto, Keep calm and just graduate. Otikao Kathy with the motto, Dream, Believe, Survive. Paxi Mirasol with the motto, In everything we do, remember that God is always there. Palayan Myra with the motto, Aim high, soar high. Bambalan Justin Hazel with the motto, Cherish your visions and your dreams as they are the children of your soul, the blueprints of your ultimate achievements. Kinyo Haname with the motto, Courage is not the absence of fear, but simply moving on with dignity despite the fear. Salvio Australia with the motto, If opportunity doesn't knock, 
build a door. Sumakya defecates with the motto, If you can stay positive in a negative situation, you win. Tibalba Kathleen May with the motto, Chase your dreams, but always know the road that will lead you to home again. Tindag Azalea with the motto, Action is the fundamental to success. Tongpa Sophia Alfea with the motto, Be bold, be courageous, be your best. Valdez Jessa with the motto, We cannot discover new oceans unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. And Yamuya Munik with the motto, The art of your life depends on how you design it. The faculty and staff of school year 2020-2021 who in their inmost being are dedicated, steadfast, and committed in the Lord's work. And their flaws, blemishes, scars, and confinements, God brought forth His perfection. The school principal Mr. Avellino C. Gaggiano Jr. of Poblacion Quirino, Ilocosur. The school treasurer, Mr. Jimmy W. Mangalis of Dilong Tubo, Abra. The school registrar, Mrs. Emilda D. Strada of Cayus, Quirino, Ilocosur. Alumit Lizel A. of Tamawan Balili Mangkayan, the school nurse. Azarias Jacquelo A. of Cayus Quirino Elocosur, our volunteer teacher. Balado Chali Angel S. of Tagal Lasam Cagayan, Filipino teacher and library personnel. The Lagos Limwal D. of Cayus Quirino Elocosur, the science teacher and the science laboratory coordinator. The Mukai Sinaking X. Dilong from Dilong Tubo Abra, our TLA teacher. Del Rosario Jarlin A. of Lingawan Bugyas Benguet. The math teacher and the school receiving cashier. Estrada Tomas A. of Cayus Quirino Elocosur, science and history teacher and the school choir director. Mr. Heronilia Jaworski P. of Cayus Quirino Elocosur, the school maintenance personnel and watchman. Gregorio Jason O. of Cayus Quirino Elocosur, English teacher and the school academic coordinator. Ian Roy D. of San Andres, Condon City, history teacher and the student association advisor. Laula Yumer T. of Cayus Quirino Elocosur, science teacher and a completing class advisor. Ms. Ador Kent Brile of Linao Apari Cagayan, English teacher and the graduating advisor. Prodente Moises C. of Kulapi Lukban Kazan, Bible teacher and the school chaplain. Prudente Sarah Jane C. of Villa Cruz, San Macho, Isabella, humanity subject teacher and the school guidance personnel. Sumakya Marijan M. of Cayus Quirino Elocosur, math teacher and the school dispersing cashier. Tiwan Wincy P. of Cayus Quirino Elocosur, 
Bible teacher, and the school senior pastor. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, give us grace and courage to us who have worked hard and now this special day of our graduation. We thank you for protecting and guiding us to this point. All praise and glory to you. Inspire us completers and graduates to use all the knowledge, skills, and life lessons gained through our education. Most important, as we face unknown challenges, help us to keep and evaluate the greatest wisdom of knowing Jesus in the power of the cross. A chapter has closed and now another chapter awaits. Open us the, ro the road with opportunities and inspire us. Continue to bless us with love, protection, strength, and wisdom. May we live the passion to honor and glorify your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Graduation is the ceremony when qualified students are confirmed an academic degree by their school. It is the best time where, we'll, where our learners reap the fruits of their labor and sacrifices. It is when they pay tribute to the hardships of their parents and give honor to the teachings of their second parents, their teachers. It is the time when they are about to bid temporary goodbyes to their classmates, friends, and alma mater. Through an audio-visual presentation, let us all stand as we sing the national anthem by Mary Bless Joaquin, leading the completing class artist. Ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas, Lopang Hinirang. Bayang magiliw, bayang magiliw, Purlas ng silanganan, alab ng puso, Sa ribdib mo'y buhay, Lopang Hinirang. Duyan ka ng magiti, sa manlulupig, Di ka pa sisiil. Sa dagat at bundok, sa simoy at sa langit mo'y bukaw, may dilag ang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal. Ang kasap ng wataw at mo'y tagumpay lalag niningning, ang bituin at araw ng kailan pa may di magdidilim. Lupa ng araw ng luwal, hatid pagsinta buwe langit sa pilig mo. Aming ligaya na pag may mga api ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo. From us a historic tirad Martin says by school dear TVA It prepares students for that will last eternally Away from all our meant of worldly life Is a school fountain in love Never fails to curse students far and near TVA the best for all Among the hills along the of TV I'm a matter we love thee among the hills along the valleys in the cities or in the towns over mountains and across the plains TV will always shine to deliver his words of welcome let us have our graduating class Vice President Religious 
Mr. Ian Jefferson Goliman. Let us give him a round of applause. Greetings to everyone and have a wonderful day. Today is a memorable moment to observe the commemoration of Sierra View Academy 2021 graduation and moving up ceremony. It is my great honor to welcome each and everyone in this most anticipated moment of the graduating class. This journey has been a roller coaster ride and a lot of changes for the past six years. The entire school community is beyond proud of what we'll become and what we've achieved. Standing in front of you is your class Vice President Religious, Ian Jefferson Guliman, of Mashua Hudari Kwakiristo, Batch 21. I would like to acknowledge the school's dedicated faculty and administrators who extend their effort to build up and ensure the well-being of the students. I wanted to express our genuine and wholehearted gratitude to the Almighty Omnipotent for not leaving us in the valley of darkness. Likewise, we won't be here today without our parents or guardians who serves as, as, inspir as an inspiration and a strength who graduates. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Notwithstanding the ongoing crisis that the world is experiencing these days, still, we congregated virtually to celebrate and validate our graduation ceremony. Well, we did it. We literally started from the bottom. We've come a long way. Despite the uncertainties and horrible obstacles that we managed to make it through. For the bygone years of stay in our dearly loved school, we treasured some of the extraordinary and amusing moments of our lives. Individually, our experiences this year are unique. We have filled of enthusiasm and anticipation of the next chapter of our lives is soon to begin. Yet, without the support of our parents, guardians, and teachers, we may not have made it this far. They have been with us since the commencement of our expedition, guiding us, helping us, and watching us grow. Class of 2021, it pains me to say, but most of us, this could be the last time we will meet each other. We are going to spread out among the country and for some overseas. It is indeed mixed feeling to leave our high school days. Let us learn everything that we can. Every lesson and every experiences. Use each learning to make ourselves better in the sight of the Heavenly Master. Be phenomenal. Each of us has the power to change the world. We have grown into creative and intellectual individuals, and we must not stop until we leave a massive footprint on this earth. I challenge you to pursue everything and anything that you are passionate about. Be phenomenal. Don't ever be satisfied and always do the utmost to be better. Always striving for that extra degree. Nothing can stop us. Invisive and presume that in your class, somebody will find a cure for cancer. Somebody could be a part of the group to colonize Mars. Somebody could be the next president. Graduate. The future is ours and the future is us. Be phenomenal or be forgotten. For God knows what is best for you and me. So, for this momentous event, our triumph and achievements are recognized and honored to be given to whom who is worthy. It is a great desire that we have reached another milestone this very day, our cybernetic graduation ceremony. Dear class of 2021, we might not be walking the aisle and going upstage and grabbing that diploma. We might not be throwing our toga in taking pictures with our classmates, families, in front of the school. But we are still graduating. We are part of the global community of students, millions of students who are wrapping up the chapter of their lives and is starting a new one. And our hard works, dedication, determination, and commitment still remain true. Dear class of 2021, your hard work has its fruit. Right now, we might feel uncertain. We might feel lost, upset, but mark this word, COVID-19 will not hinder our hope and dreams. Things will improve, and as they do, we will too. So as graduation creeps around the corner, I'm encouraging you to focus on your good times. I'm encouraging you to focus on your accomplishment. I'm encouraging you to make a Zoom calls with friends and celebrate. They say, 
that you are the collection of your past experiences. Therefore, the decisions throughout the school that you made collectively make you who you are today. And just because our things are a little bit different right now, does it mean that your memories you made all of a sudden fade away? Because graduation is not defined by gown or a sheet of paper or a cup. Graduation is defined by your courage, your courage to take the next step, your courage to move forward in life. So what is graduation meant to you? It is the start of a new job or the beginning of 10 more years of education, the start of new idea, social movement or a company, or it is the beginning of a brand new life. Dear graduating class of 2021, whatever graduation meant to you, I believe in you. Your future is promising and your hard work has and never be unnoticed. It has always seems impossible until it's done. Now go, celebrate, and use the gifts and talents in the world to make possible impossible wrong. Now go, celebrate, and use your gifts and talents in the world to make impossible to possible. And to so everyone listening to me out there, you've been empowered knowing that no one, no one can close the door that God has opened for you. Before I end this speech, I would like to leave a quote by Marian Deborah Williamson, an author, activist, and a spiritual leader. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness that most frighten us. Batch 2021 brave heroes for Christ, we have what it takes to be successful in life, and we shouldn't let anyone tell us otherwise. Again, I welcome you all to witness the cultivation of our success for this moment of our lives.
of 2020 2021 have definitely experienced a very difficult final year of schooling and we commend each one of you for your efforts and understanding now let us all listen to the golden consecration message of pastor jose manalo good evening and happy sabbath to all of you who are watching and participating in this sacred consecration service for the class of 2021 of the Tirad View Adventist Academy. First of all, I would like to thank the graduating class for inviting me to participate in this worship service for their consecration this graduation weekend. And I also would like to thank the administration, faculty and staff of Tirad View Adventist Academy for the same uh, privilege extended to me. You know, all of us when we were young and I assume our graduating high school seniors this evening, all of us have high and big dreams. We want to accomplish something that will distinguish us from others. And we try to make plans and follow to the letter the plans that we have made for ourselves. And as we grow much older, we still hold on to the idea that we can accomplish great things. And may I say that there is nothing wrong with that. However, this evening, during this consecration service, I would like to present to you Christ's formula for fruit-bearing discipleship. And I want you to pay very close attention because it is much, much better if in your tender years, at your young age, you will be able to capture this very, very important formula or principle that Jesus Christ has articulated in the book of John. I wish I have learned this earlier in my life and maybe my life would never have been the same. So in the brief moments that we shall have together, I'd like you to pay very close attention as we reflect and look a little deeper in the words of Jesus Christ recorded 
in John 12:25 to 26. However, as we proceed, may I invite all of you to join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to worship you this Friday evening. And we thank you for this graduating class of 2021 who have chosen as their motto, Brave Heroes for Christ. I pray, O Lord, that you will open their eyes as you also will open our eyes, that you call us to become disciples, fruit-bearing disciples of Jesus Christ. And in becoming fruit-bearing disciples, we may also experience heroism through the power of the Holy Spirit. So I pray now, O Lord, that you will be with us through your Spirit, guide our minds, and may we hear your voice speaking to us from the Scriptures through your Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, I have entitled this uh, Reflections with You the cost of discipleship slash heroism. This is a title of a book written by a German theologian who was also a pastor who worked in the underground Christian movement during the time of Adolf Hitler. And as he ministered to those who were being persecuted, he eventually lost his life. You know, young people, Dietrich Bonhoeffer has said that Jesus' call to discipleship is a call to die. The cost of discipleship is dying. And I believe that that is also what Jesus Christ himself has said to his disciples when he was here on earth. So I would like us to read John 12, 25 to 26. And I am reading from the New Century Version. Or let us start from 20, 20 to 26 of John chapter 12. I read, There were some Greek people, too, who came to Jerusalem to worship at the Passover feast. They went to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip told Andrew, and then Andrew and Philip told Jesus. Then verses 23 to 24, Jesus said to them, The time has come for the Son of Man to receive his glory. I tell you the truth. A grain of wheat must fall to the ground and die to make many seeds. But if it never dies, it remains only a single seed. And then verses 25 to 26. Those who love their lives will lose them. But those who hate their lives in this world will keep true life 
forever. Whoever serves me must follow me. Then my servant will be with me everywhere I am. My father will honor anyone who serves me. Okay, let us parse <coughs> these passages. Jesus Christ said, The grain must fall to the ground and die. You know, at this time, when Jesus spoke these words, there were visitors from Greece who wanted to see him and they went to the temple to worship and they were introduced to the presence of Jesus Christ by Philip and Andrew. This is very, very significant, brothers and sisters, because when Jesus Christ was born, there were few wise men who came from the east. They also came to Jerusalem to seek the child Messiah who was born. And when they found him, they worshipped him. And so near the close of Jesus' ministry, few men came from the west. They also sought Jesus Christ. They went to the temple and they worshipped. And when Philip and Andrew brought this Greek people to Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said to them, The time has come for the Son of Man to receive his glory. I tell you the truth. A grain of wheat must fall to the ground and die to make many seeds. But if it never dies, it remains only a single seed. Now we are not told what this Greek people told Jesus Christ. We only have the answer of Jesus Christ to them. But we can imagine that these Greek people who were lovers of wisdom must have said something like this to Jesus Christ. Well, Jesus, we have heard of your teachings and as everybody knows, our great teachers all belong to the past. We need a new teacher. So why don't you come with us? Join us in Greece and please teach our people this new wisdom, this new teaching, powerful teaching that you are spreading all over your people. And they may have, may have added, we also observe Jesus that your teachings seem, seem not to be well appreciated by your people. We promise you come to us and we are going to give you the best teaching schools in Greece. Then Jesus Christ said, The time has come for the Son of Man to receive his glory. I tell you the truth. A grain of wheat must fall to the ground and die to make many seeds. He must have said to them, I appreciate your invitation. But if I join you and I become a great teacher, I will only remain alone by myself. But if I die, I fall to the ground and die. I will rise again and I will produce many seeds. So, graduating class of 
2021. This is the formula. As Jesus Christ can only produce and save many other people who would trust in him, he has to die. He has to be buried into the earth. And then when he rose from the grave, he had brought with him the victorious, glorified body, living and never die again. And by his death, if you read the other passages in John chapter 12, Jesus said, And I when I be lifted up from the earth, <coughs> will draw all to me. So, graduating class, faculty and staff of Tirad View Adventist Academy, the only way by which Jesus Christ can produce many other seeds <coughs> was for him to give up his life. And in dying, he will rise again and bring immortality to light. It is by dying <coughs> that other seeds are produced. And then Jesus Christ, after speaking of his own experiences, experience of dying and rising from the dead so that he may produce new lives, persons who believe in him, whose lives are changed he said if you love your life in this world you will lose it this is a principle that is true if you lose your life in service to others if you do not give the center of your life to yourself, but instead you use your time, your effort, and even your resources to serve others, to tell them of the wonderful saving works of Jesus Christ, then Jesus Christ said, if you do this, to lose your life in the service of others, self-forgetfulness, selfless service to others, then you will keep your life forever. Oh, brothers and sisters, if we can only grasp the meaning of this powerful statement of Jesus Christ. You know, I have a small garden in our backyard here, <clears throat> and I plant. Sometimes I plant seed. When I plant a seed, cover it with soil. I will not be able to see that seed for a few days and sometimes even weeks. The seed is lost from sight. But then, 
All of a sudden, a new plant sprouts from the soil. It will grow and grow and grow until the day will come when it will bear so much fruit. So you see, just like the plant, just like the seed, when the seed deteriorates, in its deterioration, it gives life to the new plant. So in our dying, in service to others, we are given new life. And we, according to Jesus Christ, will keep our life forever. And then Jesus Christ continues, those who follow him, who have died to self, and in the language of Paul, who have died to sin, and lived again the new life of faith, Jesus Christ says, Wherever I am, there my servant will be. Whoever serves me must follow me, Jesus said. Then my servant will be with me everywhere I am. You know, dearly beloved, this is the joy of discipleship. According to Paul, I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I. But Christ lives in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave myself to me. So, graduating class of 2021, when we are crucified with Christ, when we die to self and die to sin, we will experience the sweet presence of Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. Wherever we are, we may be alone. We may be alone serving in a barrio or we may be in a big corporation working with so many other employees. But wherever we are, whatever we do, Jesus Christ says, if you are my disciple, you will be where I am. In other words, Jesus Christ is committing himself that he will make his presence available and enjoyed by his disciples. And then, Jesus Christ said, My Father will honor anyone who serves me. Could there be any higher honor? Graduating class of 2021. Then to hear the Father someday present us to the angels and to all the redeemed. Here are the fruit of the sacrifice of my son. They have chosen to be crucified with Christ, to die to self, to die to pride, to die to greed, to die to selfish ambitions, and they have received a new heart, a new life from my son. And here they are rejoicing together with you. 
and Jesus the Father will honor the redeemed, the disciples who have counted the cost of discipleship, of hero, true heroism, and decided by the grace of God to become disciples of Jesus Christ, to become nobodies, to become incognito or unknown, but faithfully doing the tasks that are available to them to serve their fellow men. And Jesus Christ said that you will be with me where I am. It will then be fulfilled what Jesus Christ has also promised his disciples in another occasion. I will go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself that wherever I am, there you may be also. So graduating class of 2021, brave heroes for Christ, I urge you, I exhort you to please be willing to die, be willing to fall into the ground, become invisible as it were, incognito, that Jesus Christ may live his life in you, empower you through the Holy Spirit to do small and great things for him. And by so doing, you will experience his presence in your life. You will experience the assurance and the joy of salvation in your daily life of service. And you can look forward to that greater joy when we will see the Father face to face. And as Jesus said, he will honor you. My appeal to you, graduating class of 2021, and to all who are within the reach of my voice, be willing to die and be buried that Christ may raise you up to a new life of service and replicate the life, the new life, that he has pr produced in you, in the power of the Holy Spirit, in the lives of others. The joy of discipleship, the true and genuine heroism, a life lived in service to God and our fellow men graduating class of 2021, what is your response?
Let's all